All right, we're going to try and do a couple things in this video. We're going to try and uh, get the basement um, kind of ready for the sheet sets and also get the um, uh, walls laid out on the first floor, the exterior walls. Let's see if we can get that all done at once. And uh, I thought I could take that webcam and turn it off. But, all right. <clears throat> Note that uh, my sectional views have no tag information in them. They will in a few minutes here. We're going to go change some things associated with them. And when I get ready to dimension this basement plan, I don't want to see these um, grid lines out here. So I'm going to touch a grid line, right click, go down here to hide in view. I'm going to hide that category. And so the dimensions associated with those also disappear, and that's fine because I don't want to see those. I'm going to go over to the sectional views now, and here's section one, and we'll kind of have to identify. We're going to rename these sections and set their scales. We will have to go in and put some more detail in them later. But here's a, this is actually the garage cutout. So this is the garage. That's the cutout behind. It's at a scale of a quarter of an inch equals a foot. Sectional views should be half an inch. I don't want to see this guy, this grid line. So I'm going to hide and view that element. I selected it, hide and view element. I can grab this window and slide it up, slide it down. And I've got these markers on there for the first floor and the floor system. Those are fine. It is at a scale of half an inch equals a foot. And I'm going to just, uh, right over here, I'm going to rename this garage. So I just right click on it and renamed it. I'm going to go to section two, do basically the same thing. This is the front stoop. I don't want to see that grid line, so I'm going to hide and view that element. I'm going to set the scale to a half an inch equals a foot. Notice the text becomes more read readable. It changes the scale and spacing of the text. And if we wanted to, we really don't need that floor system. But we want, we'll want we leave it there right now for reference because we are going to put a, a cement slab on top of this and a few other things. This is, if I go to rename the front, front stoop or front porch, whatever you want to call it. Section 3, scale. This is going to be uh, a full wall. So it's going to show the roof and everything. So it will end up here with the roof showing up here some of the roof material. Um, again, we don't need this line, so we'll hide and view that element. Uh, we can set the scale. It is half an inch equals a foot. Alrighty, I was in here earlier. That will be fine. So this is rename. I'm going to call this full wall. And the last one. This is my, in the basement, this is my footing and column or post and beam because we will put the beam and the floor system in up here a little bit later. Uh, this again should be a quarter of a uh, half an inch equals a foot. And if you didn't already do this, I did this earlier, I went down here, see where it says half an inch equals a foot, right beside it is a button that says detail level, medium. When this was set to coarse, that's what your column looked like. When it's set to medium or fine, your column looks a little bit better. There's the floor system. I won't need, but see as you pull this up, there would be the first floor. This will be fine. So we've got those set. What I'm going to do is start looking at my sheet sets. Here's um, the basement. The basement plan is not finished, but I can come up here and grab the basement slide it out and drop it on here. Now 
see how far these markers are out and I think we're gonna have to change our sheet size I'm gonna go up to the basement see this guy is setting way out there I'm gonna slide him in a little bit these are the cameras they have to be there we can't delete them I guess we could hide them but they uh, constitute the size of the view also or help control the size of the view that's drug on the sheet because it's part of the uh, extents of the drawing but these elevation markers are what are taking pictures and so if I go down here and say uh, basement all right that's gotten smaller we did put this in as a C size sheet looks like you're going to have to go to each sheet and change it to a, a D size sheet so you'll have to go to each sheet set sorry about that got interrupted by a phone call and uh, change the sheet size so here I'm on the sectional views I'm going to change that if I touch the sheet I can change it to a D and the reason I'm over on the, the sectional views is I want to bring in um, I'm going to grab the front stoop and set it right there even though it's not done here's a, a garage set it right there I want to have some extra space on here more than likely this is section 4 I forgot to rename that I'm gonna call that the uh, post post and maybe footing could be post and beam call it whatever you like So those all kind of line up and then this is going to be the full wall and it's going to sit over here and we'll see if we can find some other stuff to put over here. But since these are on a sheet, these are on sheet 106 when I brought this in, that's the first one, that's the second one, that's the third one and they line up nicely. Here's the fourth one. Now let's go back and look at the basement plan here. See, these are now populated. Section 1, sheet A106, just like they would do it in a commercial set of plans. It's grabbed the page, page number and the order. So when I go up here to the basement plan, same thing. That information is populated. And I can go back down to the basement plan. And uh, even though it may not be ready for it yet, you could grab the window schedule and set it over here. Now when I zoom in on that, see the manufacturer, that looks a little bit, I can pull that out so it's on one line. But here it has my rough widths, rough heights. Any of this stuff that, you know, if it looks like it's... Uh, I can mess that up. See, I want it. There's two lines. I can pull it out and make it one line. I could do the same thing with this rough height and rough width if I wanted to. Get them down to one line. Two's not a bad deal. So that window schedule, when we put the first floor windows in, they'll end up showing up in here. When I... Um, put a door schedule in and I'll put general notes in later we'll drag those out put them on there so these are remember this schedule was created with the view command so it's just a view that gets placed on your sheet and you can grab it and pull it around so we could have a window whoops uh, don't want that we can have a window schedule here, a door schedule, general notes, and other stuff showing up. So we're kind of getting ready. And so I'm going to go up to the first floor. Um, actually, I think what I'll do is I'll save this recording so it'll be small. Then we'll come up and we'll lay out the walls on the first floor.